Hello. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to use controllers that support 3 degrees of freedom in VR with V-Ridge. You might have such controller if you are using HTC Vive Focus, Oculus Go, Gear VR, Daydream View, or other headset compatible with leading mobile VR standards. 3DOF controllers will let you operate your hand in virtual reality like normal HTC Vive controller. We did our best to make sure that these controllers will provide a great feeling in VR by mapping their functionality to 6DOF. They will let you interact with the world, grab items, push buttons, or simply use the teleportation methods available in games. It's a really great addition to V-Ridge virtual reality experience, so if you have one of 3DOF controllers available with your VR headset, definitely check this out. To be able to follow this tutorial, Make sure that you are familiar with basic functions of V-Ridge discussed in our V-Ridge basic tutorial. You can find a link to it in the description or just find it on the official RiftCat YouTube channel. Making the controller work with V-Ridge is very simple. Launch V-Ridge with Steam VR and connect the controller with your headset like it's required normally. V-Ridge will detect it as HTC Vive controller and Steam VR will signal that a controller is connected. The controller has tracking of 3 degrees of freedom. This means that your hand movements will be limited to certain moves, but it will still let you do a lot of actions in virtual reality. When you move your hand, you will see that the controller follows trying to recognize what was your intention. Wave your hand to get used to how the controller works. If your controller position seems to be desynchronized with your head, press the controller recenter button to force it into the right position. Controllers available with HTC Vive Focus, Oculus Go, Gear VR, and Daydream View have one issue in common. They have less buttons than normal HTC Vive controller. That's why we are using a touchpad to map the missing buttons. By pressing the touchpad at its edges, you will be able to use all available Steam VR inputs. The middle of the touchpad works as a normal touchpad of HTC Vive controller. Let's take a look at examples of most common controllers. HTC Vive Focus controller represents Wave SDK input. The button mappings of it are as follows. Pressing the upper side of the touchpad will launch Steam VR menu. Left and right edges of the touchpad will be detected as side grip button press. The middle of the touchpad will work like normal touchpad and available trigger button will also work as trigger of HTC Vive controller. There is also a system button that has the same function like an HTC Vive controller and a bottom button that is unmapped. It will recenter the view on the system level. Gear VR and Oculus Go controller look a bit different but they have the same buttons layout. They represent the Oculus Mobile SDK input. Let's take a look at Gear VR controller mapping, which is the same for Oculus Go controller. Pressing the upper side of the touchpad will launch Steam VR menu. Left and right edges of the touchpad will be detected as side grip button press. The middle of the touchpad and trigger will both work the same like on HTC Vive controller. The bottom side of the touchpad will invoke system menu as controller's home and back buttons are unmappable. Lastly, Daydream View controller represents Google VR SDK input. The button mappings of it are as follows. Pressing the upper side of the touchpad will launch Steam VR menu. Left and right edges of the touchpad will be detected as side grip button press. The middle of the touchpad will work like normal touchpad. The bottom side of the touchpad will invoke system menu as bottom button is unmappable. It will recenter the view on the system level. Daydream View controller doesn't have a physical trigger button, so the available top physical button is being used as one. These controllers layout should cover most cases where the games will be playable with 3 DOF controllers. V-Ridge also covers the most popular SDKs out there, so if any new hardware will come up, it will work with V-Ridge in a similar fashion. You are now ready to interact with the VR world with V-Ridge and its controller support. We hope that this V-Ridge function will bring you a lot of memorable moments in VR. Have fun with controllers! Remember to subscribe to our channel for more RiftCat and V-Ridge tutorials.